All right, guys, I'm at the reloading bench here. We're going to take a little bit of a break from the 204 and focus on uh, my 243. Now, this is the uh, Remington 700 uh, with the varmint contour on it. So this is the woodchuck gun, right? Um, that season's way over. And uh, we had a really good, uh, we had a great summer with that. Uh, but uh, I noticed some things. Uh, the first kind of thing I noticed was you know, when I would get out to, you know, 360, 370 plus, right, uh, I really started to see my performance kind of fall off, right? And either I had weird shots, uh, weird, uh, you know, I'd have weird hits on the animal or I'd miss altogether. And that that is really where uh, I really want to, you know, to be able to have success. That's why I do this, right? And, and, you know, we have the 204 for next summer and all those shots, you know, from zero to 250 or 300, I would really like to have G uh, start kind of managing those. And then I'll take all the really long stuff. But anyways, a um, couple things. So I noticed that was going on. And what I thought I would do is I would run a little test um, against my, uh, I guess, the remainder of my uh, loads from summer, right? What's left of these guys were all loaded on my digital scale, right? Not this one, but anyways, because it was all over the place. That thing went wonky on me, and I've since retreated back to my balance beam. So that's what I want to test. I want to test the difference between uh, the weights. Now, I want to do basically two six shot groups with a chrono, so that way I can get a really nice. Uh, look at what my average uh, velocity is, what the range and standard deviation is on those things. Um, so really I'm gonna, I'm gonna load these guys up exactly the same, 39 and a half grains of H4350, uh, pushing an 87 grain VMAX, um, and then do a little head-to-head -head comparison. So, and I do have notes, kind of historic notes, right, of this load. I've been using this load for a, kind of quite a while, actually now. And uh, my velocities are kind of, you know, because I, I test throughout the summer uh, to make sure, you know, I'm hitting in the right spot. And I'm on, still on the velocity node and all that stuff. And I've noticed, you know, kind of the data is kind of moving around a little bit on that. And I'm I'm hoping that it is the uh, just simply the scale. Right. If not, we might have to do some seating depth work uh, and, and that's fine, too. But anyways, I'm going to test this out. Six shots of old versus six shots of new. The only difference is uh, the weight, uh, the powder uh, measure method. That's it. So I'm going to get these cases turned around, head to the range. All right. All right. Uh, here we are at the range. Got my old buddy here, my 243. So uh, like I explained in the last little clip, uh, I want to compare uh, my hand loads uh, from the digital gauge to the balance bar. Um, now I'm, I've got this uh, <laughs> four power uh, dink scope on here. It's like my little scouting setup here. I actually really like this scope. It's a Bushnell, it's AR223 is the model, I guess. I don't know, um, but it's got the graduated dots and it's got the target turrets. It's actually a really, really nice four power scope. Um, but, uh, and the reason why this is on here is because the target scope is on the uh, 204 right now. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to shoot this guy, do some comparisons. Uh, this guy has got a full uh, scrub done to it. Now, maybe you guys can weigh in here a little bit. I started cleaning this guy. The copper, or I'm sorry, the, the carbon that was coming out of it uh, was pretty gross. Uh, so there's another variable um, the gun might have been, you know, kind of hogged up. Uh, I did not do a very good job, uh, you know, over the summer uh, cleaning this guy up. You know, you try managing girl softball and all the other crazy things that went on this spring with cleaning guns. Yeah, right. So, um, it is what it is. It's got the full scrub on it, copper, everything. All right. So... Um, I'm going to run, I got the new scope on here, I'm going to run a couple of shots at 50 and take this guy out to 100. Now the crosshairs on here look like freaking jail bars. They are super thick. Uh, so 
I don't really care about the group size. Uh, I am interested in chronograph only. So let's get the data. I'll put together a little chart. Maybe we'll see something. Maybe we won't. I don't know. So, but it's a it's a clean slate. All oh, the other thing. If it looks kind of stupid, like I'm jumping between uh, targets out there, I am. Uh, I don't want to f to basically wrap off three to five to six shots with you know population number one from from my digital scale, and then rip off the last three, five, six, whatever uh, from the balance bar. So I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth, so the barrel hogs up together, okay? And we get uh, we kind of take that variable out of it. Anyways, enough jibber, jabber, here we go. All right, I'm gonna stagger some shots here. So uh, do lot one versus lot two. Just chronograph up. All right. All right, three shots each. Let's do a little tabulation here. All right, so just a little quick math here at the bench. Two three-shot groups. My old lot from the summer, digital scale, okay, digital scale. Average uh, velocity, 3126. Uh, extreme spread, 35 feet per second. The three that I just loaded up this morning using the balance beam, uh, average velocity 3100, which is exactly pretty much where it was uh, when I developed this load a year ago. Extreme spread 14, which is actually higher than it was then. Uh, but that's way better. Uh, that's all I got to do uh, for this gun right now. I'm glad I did this. Uh, again, I think exercise like this at least for me i'm a little over analytical about things uh it's good for me to do this type of stuff uh so that when i'm behind the gun uh, i have confidence uh in, in making a shot so yeah yeah well anyways thanks for watching um yeah test your loads all right hey not too bad not too bad for a four power scope I'll take that all day long. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.